Hello, my name is Martin, and today I will be presenting this power up video from our AC Adapter Shop studio here in the UK. This video will feature our own branded Good Lead adapters. AC Adapter Shop, keeping your devices powered on. So, what's being covered in today's video? Below this clip, you will see a summary of what topics we will be covering in this video. The scenes are listed with the relative seconds count to the right of the scene name. So, if you're in a hurry, Feel free to skip through the seconds count, but if you have a few minutes, please watch the video in full, as it contains important safety information on items that we all use in our everyday lives. Those items are adapters, and it doesn't hurt to know a bit about them. So as always, safety first. Here at AC Adapter Shop, we take your safety very seriously. It is at the forefront of our minds when carrying out any task within the business that affects our customers, especially when specifying our products. The UK market is full of substandard adapters, some of which are still freely available to buy online. So the question back is how, how can you tell what a substandard adapter is? For the shape and profile of the adapter, the Electrical Safety First, which is a charitable organisation, has brought out this. This is a UK plug pin gauge. The idea behind this is if you can if you plug an adapter in here and you can still see red, the adapter is not safe to use and you should dispose of it in an environmentally safe way as soon as possible. Um, approximately about three weeks ago, we, we were able to buy um, a substandard adapter on an online marketplace, we'll just say. And I'll just plug it in now and show you the red. So here you can see the red there and the red here. And that's how we know that this adapter is substandard. The reason being, when you go to unplug that, your thumb and your finger could slip around and touch the live and neutral and connect you directly to mains uh, electric, which nobody wants. Uh, it's not a good thing. Um, our adapters, as we specify them and we know to look for this, none of our adapters are substandard in terms of profile or shape. This adapter is typical of the adapters we sell. Um, when I plug that in, you can see there, there is no red on either side all the way around. So this adapter would be accepted by local authorities, uh, trading standards and the electrical safety first. They wouldn't have an issue with this. Our adapters are safe. So this is our AC Adapter Shop Good Lead branded 12 volt 2 amp adapter. Uh, the amps are unforced and your device will only request the amperage that it requires to operate. So provided your device is 12 volts and requires less than 2 amps or 2000 milliamps, it is perfectly safe to use this adapter with your device. The amperage requirements of your device, however, cannot be more than 2 amps, aka 2000 milliamps. As well as meeting the profile requirements of what is considered to be safe, another important element uh, is one that you cannot see, which is the power circuit board. We specify and only use the highest quality components on the power circuit board. Our adapters feature overcharging protection, overheating protection, short circuit protection, over voltage protection, and over current protection. These protections protect you and your device. All adapters sold by AC Adapter Shop are CE, FCC and ROHS certified. They are tested by our suppliers to match or meet current UK and EU legislative requirements. Now for the money shot, let's get the device powered on. So here's our adapter, 12 volt, 2 amps. Plug it into the mains and plug the DC tip into the DC jack. This particular model is DCS DC N 10 to 12 volts and it's positive polarity. So now we're going to turn it on and I'm going to attempt to play the piano. Here we go. So there, there you can hear there is no white noise or crackling being produced by the keyboard whilst our good lead AC adapter shop branded adapter is powering it. 
The adapter featured in this video will power all Yamaha keyboards and drum kits that require an input of 10 to 12 volts. You can buy this adapter on eBay by clicking the Buy It Now button and checking out. We recommend that you check your device's user manual or the specification label on this keyboard. It's located along here beside the DC jack um, to check for the input requirements of the device. Uh, Yamaha also produce a 16 volt range of keyboards, so you need to double check this before placing your order online. This video is part of an ongoing series of power up videos that AC Adapter Shop is producing to help our customers, you, find the adapters that they need to power their devices and to stay safe when doing so. We hope that you find our video helpful and we would appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel. If you cannot find an adapter for your device, please get in contact and we will do our utmost to help you and point you in the right direction. Thank you for watching.